Hello everybody, welcome to the video section of our Launch Metric Support Center. Today we're going to be covering how to import new samples using Excel. Hopefully you have watched our previous support video on how to create a new collection. Creating a new collection is imperative before you attempt to import a new batch of samples. To double check that I've created my collection already, I'm going to go and I'm going to take a look at our collection editor. In our collection editor, if I click on search, I can see the, the collection that I had already created and I'm looking to import samples for. The next step will be by going to the import tab and clicking on new import. I'll then go ahead and download my blank samples Excel template simply by clicking on the word samples and opening up this Excel. Everything on the Excel that you see is that is in red means that it is required. So I need to fill that out. Um, for department, designer, collection, and season, I need to create that exactly how I have it within my collection editor. So to double check that, I'll go to my collection editor once again, click on search, and then I can fill out those fields. So department, I'm going to call this my launch metrics support center. And this column is going to be our easiest column. So feel free to just drag and drop um, as you begin to work on this, this Excel sheet. Designer, so I have launch metrics as my designer name, my collection, support center video, and my season is spring summer 18, SS18. So once you have that in place, again, feel free to just drag and drop. It's going to be um, your easiest columns, the first four that you see here. Um, and then you'll be getting into more of the, the nitty gritty information regarding your, your line sheet and your new collection. So for types, we recommend having them be um, you know, very consistent in your system. So if you have something like a blazer, you just want to have blazer and not, you know, blazers on the next line. So to keep your sample collection clean and consistent, again, feel free to use the Excel uh, technique of, of just dropping down and putting in your sample Excels in, um, you know, in, in, in type order, we, could, we would suggest. So I'll do a blazer, I'll do dress, dress, and then I'll finish this example up with top, top. Style number, uh, we'll make up a couple. Go with some random numbers there. Um, drag and drop those down. So at this point, though, you might have already hopefully been implemented by a Launch Metrics account manager. You may have been walked through how to fill out this Excel by your internal team manager. Um, I'm not going to get into too much more about the other columns on this sample Excel. I just want to really show the basic functionality of how to fill out the Excel and import into the system. So at this point, we'll leave this Excel pretty pretty clean and, and, and bare. Um, if you do have any questions on other sample fields that you do see in the system, we ask you to please reach out to our Launch Metrics support team, uh, and you can email us at support at launchmetrics.com. We'll be more than happy to explain any of the other columns that you might see on your blank sample Excel. So now that I've saved this Excel, I'm going to go ahead and import that into my system. To import into my system, I go to, again, the Import tab, click on New Import. I'm going to select my import type, so I was working on a Samples Excel. Now you'll also see the Looks Excel. You're welcome to use that Excel um, to put in your look information, but on this Excel, you do have the column Look Number. So the information that you put in for the Look Number essentially replaces what you might have put in in the, uh, in the Looks Excel template. So definitely if you have questions on importing looks, again, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at launchmetrics.com. Again, this video's purpose is to really just show how to pull the Excel, how to fill out the Excel, and how to properly import into the system. So now I'm going to browse for my Excel file, and then I'll go ahead and select that file. Then I'll click on Import. You'll see this notice 
Uh, this is really for clients that have been with us for a very long time that have um, previously experienced what our export for updates functionality used to look like. Uh, feel free to definitely uh, watch our video on exporting for updates that you'll also find in our video support center. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and click I understand and confirm. You're going to see that I've had eight samples that were successfully imported and zero skipped. Now that pop-up window that does go away rather quickly. So please keep an eye on that pop-up window so you don't find yourself importing the same Excel two times into the system. So once I have successfully imported my samples, uh, the next step before I find those samples in my sample manager, I need to verify them. So to verify my samples, I, again, I hover over import and then I click on verify import. You're then going to see uh, the eight samples that we worked on when we were importing into the system. So most teams, they can go ahead and, and they'll verify all you know, eight samples at once. Um, other teams, if they want to be really on top of, you know, whatever is in their showroom is what they have in their sample manager. Uh, you can verify as they as they reach your showroom or your office. Um, so you don't have to verify all at once. When I verify my samples and I click on verify import, that's going to assign these samples a unique barcode, which the system will always be able to recognize them from. So when I click on verify import, the system's going to confirm with me that I want to verify the four samples that I had queued up. Once I click OK, um, if I do have my barcode printer successfully configured with the local computer that I'm working on, the system will attempt to print out all those barcodes. So just be mindful of that. And if you do get this warning, it's simply because you don't have a barcode printer set up with your computer. Currently in this video, as I'm recording, I don't have my barcode printer installed. Now, if I go back to my sample manager and I click on search, you're going to see that I have my first four samples successfully in my sample manager. If I go to my sample dashboard and I refresh that, you're going to see that I have four samples in my inventory and now four samples still left in my imported section. So to go back to that verify import page, I will again, I'll hover over import, verify import, and I can either one by one verify each of the remaining samples left to be verified or select all and verify my remaining three. So at this point, uh, we've gone ahead and imported eight, sample, um, eight samples into our sample manager. Uh, we've showed how to download that blank sample Excel, fill out that blank sample Excel, import and verify the import and where to find them in our live inventory. Please feel free to follow along with some of our future support videos uh, that take a closer look at how to create samples one at a time or in bulk directly through the system. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.